Bust a nut. The cartridge. A golden cartridge which was on eBay and had no label and read, Zeld at two, two, on the front in red Sharpie marker smeared. The story. One day I was exploring eBay for a mail order wife and for some old NES games to play, considering all of my old ones went missing somehow. I guess my dog ate them. I thought of one of my favorite games from my childhood, Zelda 2. It was one of those amazing sequels, like Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Oh man, it was so good. I looked it up and I only found two results. The Legend of Zelda N64 two-game set, Oot, and Majora's Mask with saves. That was just one of the two results. And the second result, Zelda 2 NES. Oh, boy. You can guess which one I clicked. The NES one, because I didn't have an N64 when it got airdropped. Oh, it was so very expensive to buy another one. It was surprisingly 99 cents, and it was a buy right now item, not a biddable item. Well, Wendy's Chicken Nuggets would have to come another day. My 99 cents were going to Zelda 2. So I bought it. About a week after it arrived, I finally got to it. I was too busy hanging out with my mail order bride. The cartridge looked weird. It had no label, and it was all golden, replacing the title with Sharpie marker, and it just said Zeld at 2 2 on the front with a red Sharpie. Well, what the hell? I popped the sucker in and began playing. The screen looked kind of weird, so I, without turning the power off, took the cartridge out of the system, blew into it, which you're not supposed to do. It didn't work, so I did another thing that you're not supposed to do and put rubbing alcohol on the thing, effing up the cartridge even worse. And then finally, after rubbing a substance that I will not announce in, in what I'm telling you right now, onto the cartridge and inside of it, and then waiting for it to cool and get cool and get cool. It finally worked. This person left a save file on there, so I just decided to play it. It started out normally. I roamed Hyrule, entered caves, killed enemies, bombed some Dodongos, and so forth. The only glitch was that I could walk through rocks and stuff, so I used that to my advantage. The Rock Walker. I ran and I ran through the rocks. I ran like a flock of seagulls until I came across a town which looked like it was on fire at the corner of the map. When I entered, it was a perfect town. No townspeople turning into bats, nothing bad. Everyone in the town strangely told me this. Leave! Now! In all capital letters. I thought it was some kind of stupid joke until I walked by a big house and I got pulled into it by a strange-looking girl. She said, Come in quick! I then heard screams of pain and did I splat noises inside the house, and he levitated out of the house. The city turned dark suddenly, and all of the houses burst into flames while an eyeless link started laughing in a demonic laugh. He then said in a demonic voice, Amazing, given the time that this game was released, while his eyes gushed blood out of the empty stare of his eyes. Hyrule is dead for. Greg and Zelda, along with Hyrule, shall perish by the hands of me. All of the townspeople surrounded him, and all of them blew up, and it splattered guts and blood everywhere. Highly realistic blood and guts. Not 8-bit, highly realistic. It was at least 16-bit. And Link started chanting, Ring around a rosy. The game cut to black, and it said, Run away, Greg! Run! Well, how did it know that my name was Run? I looked behind me, and there was a bloody link behind me, bleeding from his eyes, chanting, You're going to die, 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 you're going to die. And then he lifted me up and threw me into my glass table somehow. I stood up, and he screamed, which launched me into my glass frames of my family members. Glass stuck into my back. Oh, the shards. Oh, the pain. Right into the nerves. I limped away, and he threw me through my back door glass slider, getting cut up by all of the glass. I crawled away, got picked up, and thrown into my brick wall. I then blacked out and woke up in a hospital. My neighbor called the police due to the loud noises caused at my residence. The police found me nearly dead from internal bleeding and severe injuries. I got onto my laptop and I researched the history of this cartridge. 
I found out that the man who made the cartridge made it at an abandoned warehouse built over an Indian burial ground called the Green Tree Cemetery. Green Trees? That's my last name. I studied the cemetery and I found out that a certain man, a part of the Apache tribe, got captured by a rival tribe, got his eyes cut out with a buffalo horn knife, and left him in the woods to bleed to death. I thought that maybe the link that I saw might have been that man. I mean, after all, he attacked me and nearly killed me. A week later, they put me in a cast for my arm and my leg and I got crutches to go home with. My thought process at the time was I'm never going to touch that cartridge ever again I was ready to put it back onto eBay as a bid with Zelda 2 NES as its name but then I realized it was time for lunch at the mental ward